So what's happening guys? Hope your day's going well. I was just looking over this label before we start the review. I like how they put a little rhyme in here. Give your muscle fibers a blast. The muscle building isoblast. <laughs> I like that. Right there, man. They're doing a little rap there. You can throw a beat behind that for a commercial. So jumping right into this, if you're new to the channel, my name is David. If you like protein reviews, supplement reviews, pre-workout reviews, hit the subscribe button. I'm coming out as much as I can with these reviews for you guys. Today, we're going to review Apollo Nutrition's Isoblast 100% Pure Whey Isolate Protein, and we're reviewing the chocolate flavor here. So there she is. We're going to go over the flavor first, get that out of the way. And then we'll go over the ingredient profile so you guys know what the hell you're putting in your body and the other ingredients as well. So... Jumping right into this, the chocolate milk flavor, how was it? So this th can't get any better. This is top quality chocolate milk flavoring. So if you are a chocolate milk flavor type person and you have to have that hit, the perfect hit, the mixture of the milky taste and the chocolate, then this is one to buy, one to look into. There's quite a few out there. I'm not going to lie to you, but they really did a good job on their chocolate milk flavor. You're going to like it. So I'm putting the ingredient profile right in front of me, and then we're going to get into that and then get into the other ingredients. So we got one scoop, 34 grams, and on my scale, a packed flat level scoop is 34 grams. We got 26 servings in this thing. I like. Calories are 130. Fats, 2 grams. Saturated fat, 1 gram. Not bad. Cholesterols, minus 5 milligrams. Carbohydrates, 4 grams. Dietary fiber is 3. I like that. Then I see fiber in some of these things because you want to get... 10 grams of fiber per 1,000 calories you eat. Or if you're a male, shoot for 20 to 40 grams of fiber at least a day. and get things moving. Just don't want to do too much because too much fiber can actually pull nutrients out of your digestive tract or your small intestines. So be careful. We've got protein, 24 grams. That's the yielding amount of protein. Pollen Nutrition is always up front. They put the amount of usable protein right on the top part of the label there. You know, see what I'm talking about. Then we got some calcium at 107 milligrams, iron at one milligram, sodium at 270 milligrams, potassium at 270 milligrams. We like all those ingredients. Us gym rats love the contraction. Calcium, sodium, and potassium. It's all gonna give you that contraction, the strength in the contraction. Then we got whey protein isolate, 25.5 grams, yielding 23 grams. That's where we get 23 of the 24 up on top. Then we got cocoa. Four grams, one gram of that is going to be protein. So that's how we get the yield and amount of 24 grams of protein in this thing. And they put it on the front of the label as well. Always up front. Love that about Apollo Nutrition. Now, getting into the other ingredients. We have whey protein isolate, which if you guys didn't know this, whey protein is one of the most digestible proteins out there on both scales. we got two scales. We've got the PD. CAAS scale, which is the complete absorption of protein. Then we have the DIAAS scale, which is the EAA absorption of a protein. And on the complete digestive of digestion of protein, it's 100%. And on the essential amino acids on that scale, the DIAAS, it's about 105%. So not bad. I think egg is 113 or 115. So right in there. Then we have some cocoa, cocoa powder, MCT oil from coconut and palm kernel oil, which are two healthy oils. So these oils together help with, they both have fatty acids in it, healthy fatty acids for energy production and overall health. I think palm, palm kern oil has vitamin A, C, and K in it. So it's got some healthy nutrients in it. And both these ingredients are going to deliver some, some healthy anti-inflammatory benefits as well. Then we have organic inulin. In, in, inulin. <laughs> inulin. This is actually a healthy ingredient. This is an ingredient that nourishes the gut micro, micro, microorganisms in your gut. So it's, it's healthy. It actually nourishes the healthy bacteria to, to form more bacteria for gut health in general. It's been shown to, to lower blood sugar. Uh, it's been shown to help with constipation. And it helps to absorb magnesium and calcium as well in the gut. So a very good ingredient there. I like that. Then we have some a gum blend. This is an emulsifier blend here. And it consists of cellulose, exanthin, and carrageenan. 
I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So these are all, all gums, basically. And the first one here, which is a cellulose, that one actually ha is like a, a fiber, kind of like a psyllium husk. It's a non-digestible fiber. So it just kind of just pulls stuff out of the gut. So it's, it's not bad. It pushes, it's supposed to push your, your bowel movements through, so which a couple of these will do. And it helps with, a, with a moisture absorption. So when it's in a powdered formula, it's going to help stop moisture from forming which is going to help stop clumping in a powdered formula then we have exanthin exanthin is another ingredient this is more of a thickening ingredient it's been around for a long time and this is definitely one that helps to push stool through the intestinal tract so it kind of helps with the constipation effects as far as if you are constipated this will push through as long as the rest of your diet is in check so it's not a bad ingredient but we're going to talk about all three afterwards as well then we have kara g Kerogenin. I really hope I'm pronouncing that, not butchering that. So this has a thickening property to it as well. So this is for the. This is pretty much called an emulsifier. So it's so the powder stays intact, doesn't clump together, doesn't get too thick, and it stays kind of flaky. And it's usable. It it you put it in a scooper in the water and shake it up, and everything dissolves very well. It keeps everything kind of separated and apart and together at the same time. Now, one thing about emulsifiers, just like when we talk about the, um, the sweeteners in this thing, is we have to be careful because there's still a matter of debate on the safety on these things. Now, this supplement on its own, just like every other supplement out there that's going to have these things in it, uh, there's no, it's not saying that these supplements are bad in general. We just want to make sure for health that you are conscious of how many supplements you are taking in that have emulsifiers in them because they just don't know. There's studies that are saying it's okay and there's always studies that are saying it's not. So just be careful. I just want you guys to be aware. Then we have some salt. It's gonna add a little flavor. Natural and artificial flavors. We got sucralose and a sulfane potassium. So these two are sweeteners, artificial sweeteners that are about 600 plus times stronger in their sweetness than sugar. So we find this, you're going to find this in a lot of products in the stores. So you really have to be conscious and know that you're going to sacrifice certain things for the flavor here. So there is a chance if you get too much of this in your diet, as far as these sweeteners, they can create insulin resistance. They can create type 2 diabetes, metabolic conditions. I think with ACE-K, it went as far as thyroid problems in some studies and problems with brain functions in some studies. But these are large amounts. Inside of this product and inside of these products, there's a minute 0.7 milligrams or something, if even that, in some of these products because these ingredients are, like I said, 600 plus times stronger than sugar as far as the sweetness. So they don't need a large amount of them, but they're in here. So you've got to be conscious on the rest of your diet as far as how much you're getting in your diet for health purposes. You don't want to consume a large amount of this. And if you're on someone who's on a diet that's really just like sugar-free this, sugar-free that, sugar-free this, sugar-free that, be super conscious about things. If you're someone like myself and you eat healthy, you don't eat a lot of sugars. I don't eat ice cream usually. I don't eat candy. Uh, my cheat days are carbohydrates, just more carbohydrates. So if you're someone like myself who's conscious about, you know, what you're taking in as far as, far as health purposes, then you shouldn't have a problem consuming this small, minute amount of these sweeteners and these emulsifiers in your daily diet. You're going to be fine with it. So I was enough said with that. So is there anything I could say about this? Did it make me bigger and stronger? <laughs> this is not a pre-workout. Um, I just wanted to do a rundown on this thing. I'm new to these uh, protein reviews, so I'm just trying to, if you guys want more information of any kind leave it in the comments there because i'll throw it into the reviews i'm trying not to make reviews <sighs> i'm trying to make reviews my way where i feel that things certain things in here you guys need to know about as you're searching for these products so i don't want to just like target the flavor flavor doesn't matter in proteins trust me i know i don't want to be sipping a nasty tolerable flavored protein if i don't have to but you know i just want to deliver as much information as I can for you guys. So I hope this review helped. This is Dave, I'm signing off. Finish it off with this. Isoblast, Paul Nutrition, chocolate milk. There you go. You guys have a great day and I'll see you next time.